Hey you guys, thanks for watching again. Um, I just wanted to talk to you quickly about a product that I just picked up yesterday and I used it today for the first time. I spoke about it briefly in the video that I just did earlier today. Um, and it's called the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm. I don't remember exactly what I said about it, but I'm just going to go ahead and recap and let you know what I think of it after using it for one day. And I also just want to apologize. I um, went in today to go get an eyebrow wax, and so my um, I the oil that they use to remove the wax, it obviously fell down throughout the course of the day and took off my eyeshadow, took off most of my eyebrows, and even is a little bit up here. Um, so I wanted to show you um, an accurate portrayal of how this 10-in-1 primer, I'm just going to call it a primer because it's a primer slash tinted moisturizer slash whatever else they want to throw in there. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know how it works. And in particular, how it compares to the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. So I'm just going to get started talking about this. Um, again, this one says that it contains innovative microspheres, which have been shown to hide skin imperfections and reduce the appearance of wrinkle depth by up to 84%. It says that it's infused with natural skin protecting emollients, which have been shown to increase antioxidant activity by up to 89%. Um, long wearing high definition formula helps reduce pore size and provides oil and blemish control. And then um, there's some other things on here. It lists like 10 different um, things that it does or that it is, 10 different descriptions about it. And so I don't know if I showed it earlier, but um, or showed this particular feature earlier, but this is what it looks like. It comes in this box, it looks like that. And then it's just a really pretty silver container, and you get 1.5 fluid ounces in here. Um, and then on the back, it just shows you, you know, how to use it. Apply to clean skin. Use alone or follow with the foundation or tinted moisturizer for complexion perfection. All right. So again, today was my very first day using it, and this is what it looks like. You just twist open the cap like that. Ah, I want to lose that. This is what the um, applicator part looks like. Nothing too special about that. And then this is what the product looks like. And it looks like a foundation. It's quite thick. It is not jelly or like I get I want to say sil this, this is silicone based but I really don't know but the texture of this is completely different than the texture of this it's more of a thick um, thick thicker than the foundation coverage um, and like lotiony it's like a thick lotiony coverage and this is what it looks like when you put it on so it kind of looks similar to foundation I'm just gonna rub it in and the thing about this is that it's not very smooth and slippery like the Too Faced is. It really just grabs onto your skin and kind of stays there. And you have to get in there and really just work it in and, and play around with it to get it moving. But it doesn't move very much. It really, once you put it on your skin, it kind of just sits there and absorbs it in there. So this is what we have. It's really it's sitting on there. And so of course I let it sit for about five to ten minutes before putting on my foundation. And it definitely helped reduce the size of my pores. And I noticed that throughout the day, um, it really did help cut back on the oil, because like I said before, I'm pretty oily. Um, and so it helped out with that big time. I did not get nearly as much oil in my T-zone area as I normally do. Um, and the best part about it is that my makeup really did stay on most of the day a lot better than it does when I use dun, 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 this bad boy so um, I'm not really sure what what I'll go ahead and do um, I'm just gonna keep on using it for another seven days or so and then I'll come I'll do another um, review and when I come back to do my final review after using it for a week I'll do it without any makeup on and I'll just put the application on from the beginning um, so 
the main question, how does this compare to this? I'll tell you. So I already showed you guys what the what that looks like and what the texture is like. This, as I said, is more of an oily, not oily, it's more of a slippery kind of there we go. A lot of you already know what it's like, but the texture is just a lot different. I'm just going to set it um, over here. I'll set it on the side. And so this is what we have. And it's really slippery. And I can take it and I can move it down. I can move it all the way up. It's, it's still, I can still feel it like slipping around over here. I don't want to say that it's slimy or greasy, but it kind of is to me. And I feel like ever since I've started using this, because I've been using it for like two months now, because a lot of people say that they like it. But personally, ever since I've started using it, I feel like I've been breaking out a little bit more. Um, and I don't really think that it makes my pores any smaller. Yes, it creates a nice canvas, a nice smooth canvas for me to go ahead and put my foundation on. Um, but I don't, it really doesn't do anything for me. On a scale of 1 to 10, I think it's a 5. And quite honestly, I wish that I didn't purchase it because I kind of feel like it was a waste of money. Um, I, I'm really not a big fan of that. And again, it doesn't help keep my makeup on any longer than if I didn't use any, any primer at all. But so far, day one with this Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm, I'm having a really good experience. And again, once I wear it for seven days, I'll come back and I'll do a few, full review on it to let you guys know what I think.